Hi, I wanted to show you the improvements to the hair library presets. So if you update the hair library and append any preset, you will see that one of the imported object is drawn with bunning box. This is the root of the imported hair. So you can move this around in object mode to match this to the character position of the head. Then it has the shrink wrap modifier also. So I will shrink this wrap to the character head. And you see we can move this around and hair will follow this guide object. So you could then go to the apply, apply this like so, then maybe shift X to delete this helper object, but you see the child objects were moved. So you would have to like go to the child object and parent them, then go back, delete. Instead of doing all this, there is uh, one way, better way. Instead of applying this preset in here, just click in here. This will apply the string wrap, and also it has option to remove this, uh, remove this helper object. And this time we do not have to manually unparent, unparent everything. Let's do this one more time. Uh, append the build preset, select the uh, binding box object that will be the root of the imported preset. Move this around in object mode. Then you will want to shrink this wrap to the character head. And uh, this preset is slightly more interesting since it has this uh, special hair per guide object. So uh, if I show you this is using this helper mesh deformer. Without it, the guiding of the hair system would not work correctly. So we have this uh, guide mesh deform, so it will follow the character head together with the shrink wrap object. Now, if you try to apply this in here, it will complain that you cannot do this because it has shape keys. So again, instead, go select the object with the shrink wrap with the binding box then apply the preset in here, it will do everything for you. You can try to remove the shrink wrap object itself, but it will, it will complain that it is used by hair system. So in this case, uh, hair strands are spawned from this object, so that's why you cannot remove it. If you want, you can go to object properties and uh, disable driving the binding box. And uh, if I ju jump to the guide, hair guide object, if I go to the shape keys, you see there is this deform shape key and it is basically responsible for guiding the strands. So let's do this one more time. Let's go one level up, go to the a browse preset, append to the scene, then select object with bonding box, move this in the object mode like that. And then I want to scale this and shrink this wrap to the character head. And if you like the result, I don't like this in my case, so we move this around. And now I can just press apply and it will apply the preset. And again, I can click remove shrink wrap object. But in this case, also it is complaining that it cannot be removed because hair strands are spawned from here. So I can just remove the binding box if you want but uh, it may be easier to just move the whole preset if you know that this is the root because of this bonding box. So this way it will be easier to move everything. So that covers the new way of applying and matching imported preset to the character head. So now let's create our own preset. But first I wanted to show you that in this update you can specify multiple folders where you want your libraries to be. So in this uh, case, I have the library folder with all the hair tool presets, and then I just added one more empty directory for tests. So this way you don't have to worry to contaminate maybe your presets with some tests. So you can just add a different folder in the hair tool preferences. So let's create a preset. You just select a bunch of objects, and then you create preset in here, store in the library, set the name, OK, left click and drag to define the thumbnail area, then enter to accept. And after a second or two, it will create the preset. So as you see, it does not have to be the preset with hair. Any object can be stored in the library. Uh, so now let's uh, let's create hair preset. So for that, it will be probably best to start with by creating some simple uh, scalp mesh. So I will 
if the duplicate this part of the mesh and this will be the source for the high strands i will use hair driving to add bunch of the guide strands and uh, then we will use control shift h and add hair system strand generator and already this could be exported as hair preset so you would just select the hair select the scalp and then store like previously uh, except maybe this time uh, to make it more reusable you would want to add the shrink wrap modifier on this object rather than doing this manually the way to do this uh, easier is to select your hair objects then last select the object that will receive the shrink wrap then click prepare hair preset so this uh, way shrink wrap was added automatically it has also the this uh, will be now the root of the preset so it is drawn with pending box and the hair object receive this mesh deform so uh, if i deform the scalp mesh you see the hair strands will follow so this will uh, allow it to be matched to the different heads uh, okay so now to create preset just like previously select your hair select uh, everything you want to export store in the library let's name this uh, something left click drag to define the thumbnail area enter to accept and after a second or two it will create the preset so just append this like in the past let's see how this would look on the Suzanne so I will move this preset using by dragging by the root object just like I showed you previously then add in the shrink wrap add target and move this around and now when you like it the result click apply and it will you can select to remove shrink wrap object but uh, in this case it is also used as source for the hash system so it won't allow you to remove it and that's it now we can combine define and modify the hash system you can maybe add a bunch more strands add some noise and uh, continue working with that okay so i hope you like this update and the new way of creating uh, presets and see ya